The elimination of the three sons of the Hamas leader was preceded by another blow on the allies of the terrorist organization. On April the 1st, the Iranian consulate in Syria was attacked by fighter jets. The missile attack killed seven members of Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. Among them is a high-ranking brigadier general and his deputy. Iran and Syria blame Israel for the strike. Despite the fact that the Israeli army did not comment on the incident, the spiritual leader of Iran threatened Israel with a retaliatory strike in Tel Aviv, according to media reports, they are preparing for a possible attack from Iran or its proxies. The London-based Elaf News cited an anonymous Western security official as saying that Israel has been conducting air force drills in recent days that include preparing to target Iranian nuclear facilities and other key infrastructure should the Islamic Republic retaliate for the Damascus strike by attacking from its own territory. The Times of Israel writes. Various statements are made, often quite loud, but so far all this is more like a game of nerves, a game of muscles, in which each side is trying not to lose the initiative, not to demonstrate weakness, so it is difficult to tell now. We know that in the past information has repeatedly appeared that Iran was allegedly preparing to strike Israel, but so far these strikes have not occurred, and again it is not clear in what form this strike will take place. Despite the fact that Washington has recently called on Tel Aviv to make concessions in negotiations on a ceasefire in the Gaza Strip, after recent intimidation from Iran, the U.S. responded unequivocally. The White House claims to be ready to continue helping Israel's security. They are threatening to launch a significant attack in Israel. As I told Prime Minister Netanyahu, our commitment to Israel's security against these threats from Iran and its proxies is ironclad. Let me say it again, ironclad. We are going to do all we can to protect Israel's security. Joe Biden, U.S. President, The Guardian publication quotes. Washington is playing the role of the main strategic partner of Israel and a country for which Israel is the main partner in the region. Naturally, they will make such statements and Iran must take these statements seriously. This is again a feature of American policy. We do not yet know what, for example, the scale of intervention will be on the part of the United States if such an attack is carried out, but the U.S. must demonstrate that the response will be as serious as possible. Most analysts doubt direct military confrontation between the countries, Israel's potential and its alliance with the United States deters enemies from a major war with Tel Aviv. However, we can hardly talk about calmness in the region in the near future. After all, threats can be much more serious than military clashes on the ground, experts suggest. Iran is accumulating power, it is enriching uranium, it is making progress. And the big prize for Iran is not really to send 50 ballistic missiles and kill 100 Israelis, but to establish strategic deterrence not only against the Israelis, but even against the US state. Favas Gerges, Middle East expert at the London School of Economics, in an interview with BBC. Iran is not capable of a big confrontation with Israel given its military capabilities and economic and political situation, but it will have to come up with a response for domestic consumption and to protect its reputation among its regional allies. Ali Sajadeh, analyst of Middle East Affairs, in an interview with BBC. Security experts also do not rule out the possibility that Iran could use cyberspace to take revenge on Israel. Moreover, over the past decade and a half, there has been an ongoing cyber war between countries. Reported by Dana Kulasnik, Larissa Zubenko, UATV News.